What's up guys, welcome back to another video and welcome back to a video where we're going to be looking around this beautiful Bentley Bacala. I don't know exactly how you're supposed to say the name, Bacala, Bacala. Anyway, it's a beautiful car. Only 12 of these are going to be made to be sold. This one is not one of them. This is a prototype, but 12 of these have already been sold at the generous price of 1.2 million euros, taxes included. So that's positive. Um, but yeah, only 12 of them will ever be uh, given to clients. They're all sold, pre-sold actually, before it was even released. Um, and we had an event here at Bentley Monaco uh, to have a look around it. And I really enjoy showing you guys uh, these kinds of uh, special uh, cars that you don't see every day. I enjoy looking around them, so I thought I'd share it with you. I mean, obviously it is based on a Bentley Continental GT W12, which is no bad thing. It is a fantastic thing. There's a V8 right there. But this one's got the V12 with the power pumped up to about 660 horsepower. But all of the design of the car has been completely looked over. So uh, starting with these massive rims, 22 inch rims, but they actually look bigger than 22 inches. And they kind of look like the rims on the new R6, don't they, design-wise? You find obviously under the skin that it is the Continental GT, so you still got those huge brake discs and calipers. A really loud C63 just one by. Don't know if you heard that. Um, and then the whole design itself has been redone. It's actually all carbon fiber. I don't know if you can see on camera, but through the paint, you can actually see the carbon weave. The paint itself is uh, actually uh, based off of rice powder, which is pretty crazy, but it's effectively um, to continue with uh, an ecological side that this car wants to have. So we'll see that a bit more on the interior, but they're trying to use natural products for the paint, which is really cool. It kind of looks like that, you know, M3 uh, uh, paint, that was, or M4 that was launching, but like times 100. So much nicer, pops so much more. That's obviously hard to transmit through uh, the camera, but when you're out in the sun, uh, you can see that a bit more. But uh, yeah, really, really cool looking. The front has obviously been completely changed. You see here, you've got the two front headlights. You see, you've only got one big one with this little LED running off the side. Now, all in 3D design, which many have become so good at. And then featuring this kind of bronze, bronze effect detail, um, which we'll find around the whole car. Uh, all of the uh, design of the front grills and everything has been completely um, you know, rejigged, re-looked at. Front grille itself also has that bronze line down the middle. Bronze logo, two new air vents right here. I'm not sure if those are real or not, but they look pretty cool. Um, yeah, you don't get those on the, on the stock car. It's so big, so wide, and so much more designed. So you see, you can just hear that little uh, air outlet or little design feature right there. Looks awesome. The exit here, again, have been rejigged compared to what you have on the, on the standard car. Uh, and you're finding this bronze finish all around. So bronze finish up here on the doors. Apart from that, the doors are pretty much the same. But then you've got, when you come inside, a whole new kind of interior, mainly back here. But we'll get to that in a second. If you come around back again, everything from the fuel filler cap has been rejigged as well. Um, and everything is a lot more angular than you find on the stock Continental GT. So for example, the lights are so much more angular. The exhaust tips themselves are actually even more angular as well. Everything is just a little bit more aggressive and it's cool to see Bentley, I think, let me know what you think, taking that kind of step in their design and taking a bit more risk, being a bit more bold with it. Really nice integrated uh, ducktail um, wing right there, um, which looks fantastic. And obviously the bronze, which continues throughout. So a whole new design back here, that kind of speedster look Correct me if I'm wrong, this really makes me think of kind of the collaboration that Aston Martin have with uh, Zagato and the Vanquish. Um, it's kind of, yeah, the same ethos. Uh, you know, take the standard GT car, make it really rare, really expensive, and really cool looking, and sell in very limited numbers. Um, so it's kind of what they've done here. You can find, obviously, surrounding these two bubbles around back, you can find the bronze finish. There is a boot, but because this is the show car, it doesn't open properly, but you do still have a boot because there is not much space in the rest of the car for your luggage. But you do get custom matching luggage, which goes with the car. So matching the interior, where you can have a choice of kind of two finishes. One is this really eco-friendly recycled uh, material, which you'll find around the seat here, or Alcantara. That's as you wish. Obviously, no more back seats. You've got this beautiful structure behind here, which is really striking to see. 
And when you step inside, you find even more recycled materials. For example, the whole inside of the door right here is wood from a tree which is over 5,000 years old apparently. So yeah, that's pretty cool. You also got the yellow details and little things like you've now got these straps rather than door handles to remind you that it's a slightly more sporty version. I mean, sporty is a big word for this, but you know what I mean. That's the ethos of it. Beautiful design on the speakers right here. The standard system on the Continental GTs is awesome. The Mime system is really, really cool. And then you've got the new Bacala uh, logo right there. And when you step in, you find this recycled material, leather, new stitching. Um, so still in the diamond form, but not the diamond into a diamond, which you'll find on others. Uh, and then when you step inside, it's still that angular look. So the steering wheel is a, a bit less uh, well, circular, round, as you can tell, it's cut off there. But even the paddles are a bit more angular. Um, the dashboard apparently is really cool, but we can't actually switch it on because the, we don't have, uh, well, we have the key, but it's out of battery in the car, so we can't switch it on. But then it's basically familiar. Um, you know, all around, it's very similar to the interior of the standard Continental GT, a lot less chrome, much more uh, kind of black finish with the bronze. And then look at this little clock right here, which you find in all of the Bentley Continental GTs. We've got the famous um, flipping screen, which will go from these dials to blank to a touch screen. And yeah, I mean, there hasn't been too much change on the inside, but everything just feels quality. Look at this, all of this. I really like this material. It's quite nice. Um, the integrated speakers here as well, and then that wood, which just knowing that it's 5,000 years old is kind of badass. Bit of Alcantara on the steering wheel, and again, yellow and bronze everywhere. That's pretty much it. I'm getting told to, to, to wrap this up, um, because other people want to see the car, I think. Uh, but I just wanted to give you a quick look around, because it's so rare. I mean, 12 of these in the, in the world. I don't know when I'll next be able to see one, and I wanted to, to show you guys. So, uh, yeah, massive thank you to Mainly Monaco. Um, Quick little video showing you around it. I mean, 1.2 million euros. Would you consider this? Is it the car when you've kind of already got everything else? Do you think it's an interesting design language for Bentley to be heading in? Let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you very soon. Cheers.